Hello student, uh, welcome back to your favorite channel, Science with Mukherjee Sir. Myself KK Mukherjee, today we are going to discuss a very important topic in hello alkenes and hello arenes, that is preparation of the alkyl halides. Preparation of alkyl halides or haloalkanes can be done in different ways. And one of the most common way that has been used to produce the haloalkanes that is from the alcohols with the reaction of the halogenases, phosphorus halides and also the ACL2. Other form that form the alkene, also from the alkene, you can able to produce this haloalkanes or, or alkyl halides. So let us understand how in brief, in summary, how we can able to prepare the alkyl halides from different types of reagents. The starting material is ROH means alcohol. Alcohol when we react with the halogen acid that is HCl gas in presence of ZnCl2. Here ZnCl2 acts as a catalyst. So you will get R, Cl and H2. Second stage HBr that is 48% and concentrated H2SO4 little drops, very little drops and this will also produce HBr alkyl bromide here also then you can NABR or KBR H2SO4 this will also give HBr and H2O. What is going to happen? NADR or KBR with the action of the H2SO4 and it is concentrated H2SO4. And it will produce this. With this reagent, HI, hydrogen, iodide, and or with KI with H3PO4, you can also prepare this hydrogen alkyl, alkyl iodide. Here also another reaction that is. Here X is Cl, Covid or iron. We can also here prepare the Rx plus H3PO3. Here also you can see 
T will be given as per balance equation. Then also P shell 5 with the action of this, you will get RCL and UCL3 plus HCL. And another reaction that is SUCL2 thiamine chloride. This also produce HCL. RCL plus SO2 and HCL. This is how, in brief, you can able to prepare the alkyl halides from the alcohols. That is, from the HCL gas, HBr 48%, then HI. 57 percent the px3 that is x is chlorine bromine and iodine pcl5 and socl2 thiodine chloride thiodine chloride so this is how you can able to prepare the alkyl halides form from the alcohol with the use of different reagents that is halogen acids that is your phosphorus trihalides and thiamine chloride here this is so the in from this is so to you can able to prepare this alkyl halides in the more pure form because both these substances is so two or HCl they are volatile so they when they will vaporize naturally pure, pure HCl will be there <coughs> okay now here, few four things that we need to understand, we need to write number one. That is, ZnCl2 is required for Jagan CO2 is required for 1 degree and Jagan CO2 is required for 1 degree and 2 degree alcohol and this Jagan CO2 basically acts as a catalyst it will make a bond with the oxygen of the alcohol and that is going to break the CO bond. Genetia to be right. But we do not require JNCL2 for 3 degree alcohol. This reaction proceeds with the SN1 and SN2 reaction mechanism that we will discuss later on. 
and why it is so that JNCO2 is not required for this third degree, three degree that is tertiary alcohol that we have that and that I will discuss. So this is how from the alcohol we can prepare. Now we are going to discuss how we can prepare the alkyl halides from the alkenes. From the alkenes, with the action of the halogen acid, with the action of halogen acid. So HX when this is a basically a addition reaction. With this reaction you can see the hydrogen has been added to this to this carbon atom and X is added to this carbon atom and it is going to produce the alkyl halides and that is we can see this is a symmetric alkene. Symmetric this is a symmetric alkene and it is addition is asymmetric there is a no problem so in this way you can see we able to produce the ethyl chloride or you can say chloroethane but for the unsymmetric This is un unsymmetric. See, double bond is here. Now, at this point, where the when we add halogen acid, where it will be halogen will be added, whether this carbon atom or this carbon atom. We know as per Marconi-Cock rules, Mar. Conny Cup Rule The halogen will attach to this carbon atom because it is highly more substituted than this carbon atom. So this will be like this. Okay. But this there is an anti addition also you can see anti. Markovnik of rules which is where there is a peroxide and this is called Karas impact, Karas effect HDO anti Markovnik of rules in this case the addition will be just reverse what you will you see in case of Markovnikov rules that is and this rule only been found to follow in case of when x equal to bromine for hbr this type of anti markov nikov addition of the hbr is observed but in other case as for example chlorine or iodine 
this type of anti-Markovic of addition is not been observed. This is only observed for your HBR. So you can write this HBR. But in case of HCL, in case of HR, this is this type of anti Markovnikov addition of this halogen is not seen. So in this way we can able to produce the alkyl halide. Now if the addition is if the reaction with this halogen acid is made at high temperature then this addition reaction is not being observed then basically we observe this type of reaction Seventy, seventy-five Kelvin. You can observe this. This hydrogen gas will be replaced there, and this double bond will keep as it is. And this is called the allyl halogenation. Allyl halogenation, and this product will be. Here you can see this is 3 chloro pro 1e. In the third position, there is a chlorine and it is 3 chloro pro 1e. At the high temperature, the addition reaction is not going to be found out. There is a replacement, this hydrogen is replaced by this bromine atom. Okay, so this is from the alkene. Now we are going to understand how we can able to prepare the alkyl halides from the alkenes. This is the reaction of uh, here X is halogen atom, halogen molecule that is given here, Cl2, R2 and I2. And the reaction is normally carried out in presence of sunlight or there is a heat. If we give heat, that is the temperature is 520 to 5650K. So we will get this alkyl halides from the halogenation of the alkenes. Now, this halogenation is basically a mechanism, reaction mechanism is the free radical. But one of the main drawbacks of this reaction mechanism. The action of producing this alkyl halides is basically that in the reaction you will find that there is a creation of a different types, production of different types of mixed alkyl halides. It is a combination of the monoalkyl halides, dialkyl halides, and polyalkyl halides. So there will be always a mixture of the alkyl halides. So this process of producing the alkyl halides is not a very practical one. And uh, when we go for the iodination, iodination of this uh, alkenes, what we found there is the iodination process is basically reversible. For the iodination process, of the alkenes is basically reversible, so we need some oxidizing agents like HiO3 or HNO3. 
So this process, in this process, you will find that uh, it is not uh, normally how it is not been released to develop. Suppose, as for example, CH4, and it is going to produce here. is this Cl again there is a chlorination you will find that is CH2Cl2 and there is chlorine CH chloroform will form so this type of mixed product which normally be found out normally be observed during the reaction of So another that is a very important thing that is a fluorination. Normally fluorination is uh, normally being done directly. It is done indirectly with the help of alkyl chloride or bromide, and it is being heated with the mineral fluorides or metallic fluorides, whatever you call it, that it will be to give uh, the alkyl fluorides. Normally alkyl fluorides is not uh, being uh, done directly because of the two reasons that is number one it is very much explosive and it will going to break the carbon bond. So the hydrocarbon will be destroyed with this reaction so direct fluorination is not is preferred or prescribed. So this reaction is called the SWAC reaction. This dual reaction, you will find that you will observe that in the reaction is basically carried out in presence of alkyl halides, that is uh, alkyl bromide or alkyl chloride, and there is a metallic chloride, and it is being heated and you are going to see this product alkyl chloride with this this reaction is called the Stuart reaction Another reaction that is another reaction that is pin clean steel reaction. Pin clean steel reaction. In this reaction, you will find that there is a reaction with sodium iodide with the Rx alkyl in presence of alkyl halides that is here X is you will find that is chlorine and bromine and it will in presence of acetone acetone dissolve the NAR and you will find in this case that you will produce the alkyl halides and there is also the production of NAX and this NAX that is uh, not dissolved it will be precipitated it will be precipitated at the acetone acetone in acetone sodium bromide or sodium chloride do not dissolve it will be given as a precipitation and it will be coming out as is it so we can able to separate out this alkyl iodide this is the alkyl iodide and this reaction is basically called the halogen exchange reaction this is also called the halogen exchange reaction halogen exchange reaction 
halogen action reaction this is also called this halogen action reaction here you can see the halogen has been exchanged that is iodine has been exchanged with the body of body so that is all for this preparation of the haloalkanes so far we have discussed many ways that we can even produce the haloalkanes from alcohols uh, with the reaction on the different reagents that is halogen acids then uh, thiol chlorides and then you will see the phosphorus iodides and also from the alkenes you can able to see from the alkenes you can able to see that reaction we have already discussed today now there is a two reaction stuart and frank east reaction that is also a very important reaction so like this video you can share to your friends and uh, they will be definitely benefited from it because it is absolutely free for them they can get the knowledge accordingly so all the best and be best and we will meet in the next video where we are going to discuss the preparation of the allied halogens that will be in the different way okay all the best and be best